All right, Chris Jacobs live in Live Drive 5 for us tonight, and you're seeing it out there, the snow coming down yeah. this afternoon. And it's so, uh, it's low visibility is the best way to yeah. say it out there. So foggy looking. Yeah, because we have the wind on top of the snow, and so yeah. that does kind of bring down visibility a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind for this afternoon too. And then also, the good thing is most of our roads should remain just wet. We have that snow coming down, though. It's the first of the season, so it always kind of feels like it has a little bit of extra energy with it, right? The town in general has a little bit of extra energy just because we have the snow moving in uh, right now. First of the season, so some heavier snow over top of Butler and Warren counties. That's impacting 75 and 71 to 75 loop, also showing that snow across much of the Cincinnati metro, and it will continue to pour in here for a little while longer. So we are seeing the darker blue shades here. That's where the snow is really coming down quite nicely. So that's impacting Forest Park, Evendale over toward Green Hills, areas around Mason, Lebanon, all dealing with some snow showers. We have snow coming down from Monroe, Middletown, Trenton, New Miami, Hamilton, Fairfield. Pretty much everybody is dealing with at least some sort of snow, whether it's smaller flakes or those bigger, fatter snowflakes coming down a lot like what we saw this morning. That's going to happen from time to time. That's going to lead to some of the minor accumulations across the area throughout the rest of this afternoon and this evening. We have snow coming down along the west side, Cheviot over toward Delhi, Cleves, Addison, Coleraine, White Oak, and then areas a little bit closer to Marymount also dealing with some snow. Down south of the 7175 split, we have some snow coming down there. Flurries flying across Boone County as well from Union up to Rising Sun. Airport likely dealing with some snow showers there too, and southeastern Indiana. Much of the same for you as well. We'll still see the snow piling in from the north. It's going to push to the south throughout a lot of this evening. In fact, at times, some of the snowfall rates are going to come down heavy enough that we could see some coatings, not just on grassy surfaces or your deck or patio or anything like that, but also potentially some bridges and overpasses could form some slushy spots. So that's some, certainly something to keep in mind for the rest of tonight. And as Ashley was just talking about, visibility at times could be low just because we have the wind coming in with the snow and that's going to lead to some briefly low visibility at times. Winter weather advisory is in place. It's going to be in place throughout the overnight hours as we continue to see that snow piling in here tonight. Here we go on feature cast. So temperatures right now are sitting around 32 degrees. So we are actually at one of the coldest points we've been all day long. Factor in the wind chill and it feels more like the 20s outside. It's going to stay that cold for the rest of tonight. This evening we'll still see some snow showers coming down throughout the 7 and 8 o'clock hour all the way through 9, maybe even as late as about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. And that's when we're going to pick up most of our accumulations. Again, if you have someone who's headed home from work right now, I do think most of the roads are going to remain just wet, but certainly still something to keep in mind there. And as far as, you know, having fun out in the snow, other than just standing in it or looking at it, seeing it happening, I don't think this is going to be something that you really be able to get outside and play in or anything like that. Overnight tonight, we are going to start to dry out, but tomorrow cloud cover is going to stick around. Might even see some rain showers around here tomorrow. It is overall going to be a very cloudy and dreary day with some of those rain chances continuing into the afternoon. Feels like temperatures. It's cold outside. Feels like we went from early fall to middle of winter in the matter of just a day and pretty much we did. 24 is how cold it feels outside in Cincinnati now. 26 in Hamilton, 27 at the Lundkin Airport, 24 in Batavia. Wilmington feels more like 22. It's a weather impact day. No doubt it will be for the rest of tonight. Again, take it easy on the roadways. If you don't have to be out tonight, it's one of those nights where it might not be a bad idea to hang out inside. Heading into the weekend, we'll start to dry out after that cloud cover and some light showers possible tomorrow. We're looking at high temperatures in the 50s Saturday and Sunday. After that, next week, a couple rain chances around as we head into Thanksgiving. Ashley and Cherie.